Thank you for viewing the Stanfoss Drive's technical support video. This video will discuss a VLT drive displaying an Alarm 29 heat sink over temperature fault. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. Hello, I'm David Boyer, Danfoss Service Training Coordinator. I'm going to explain what to do with a Danfoss VLT that is displaying Alarm 29 heat sink over temperature. First thing I would do is force the fans on to 100% speed using parameter 1452 and then check to see, are the fans running? If they're not running, see if you can get to the fan and check for voltage. Depending on the size, some fans will be 230 volt AC, some will be 48 volt DC, and some 24 volt DC. If there's no voltage present, then you'll need to replace the power card and possibly the fans as well. Now note on older series drives in the 125 horsepower and up, the fan voltage comes through the soft charge fuses. You may have a blown fuse there. If you are getting voltage to the fans and they're not running, you'll need to replace the fans. If the fans are running, I would look at the heat sink temperature and the data readout parameter 1634. A legitimate over temp threshold is between 85 degrees C and 110 degrees C, varying by horsepower. If you have a bad sensor, that readout may be showing you 132 degrees C. Some uh, temperature sensors are inside of the IGBT, some are replaceable on their own. Mm -hmm. Tech support can tell you which drive you have and which, what you would need to replace. Consider the ambient conditions if you've got an, a legitimate over temperature trip. What's the altitude where the drive is installed? When you get above 1,000 feet, you'll need to derate the drive. Ambient temperature allowed maximum is 45 degrees C, which is 112 degrees Fahrenheit. So is the environment that the drive is installed in actually hot? And then lastly, examine the airflow. Do you have adequate clearance above and below the drive? On the small A-frame drives, they need four inches above and below. And then you get up, on up to the biggest drives, it's gonna need 10 inches of space above and below. Uh, does the drive require a back plate that's not installed. If you're able to see or feel uh, exposed heat sink fins on the back of the drive and it's mounted on Unistrut or something, it'll require a back plate and that would be the cause for your over temperature trip. Are the heat sink fins clogged with dirt or leaves or any kind of debris? Try blowing them out with compressed air. Um, or has something been set on top of the drive? Uh, a manual or a stack of towels or anything like that? So running through these checks should point you to the cause of your problem, and uh, you should be able to know what to do from there. That covers it. I hope this helps you find your solution. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Dan Foss Drives can provide additional technical support, parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 1-888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after-sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.